Boy, boy, boy. All I can say, get yourself some cameras, man. Just get yourself some cameras. We're back on the Did You Know channel. It says, Porch Pirate Steals from Navy Seal. Learns costly lesson. All right. Um, I'll leave the link to their channel in the description, man. Just these, man. These. Oh. It's frustrating. And now, like, have y'all been seeing them? They've been uh, robbing the whole Amazon trucks in, like, broad daylight in the middle of traffic. It's crazy, man. All right, we're going to check this out. Ain't going to waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. Meet Arthur, a Navy SEAL who has dedicated his life to serving his country and protecting its citizens. However, in recent months, John has been facing a frustrating problem that has nothing to do with his duty. Thieves have been stealing packages from the front porch of his house, and it has become a common occurrence. John has tried different measures to deter the thieves, but nothing seemed to work. As a Navy SEAL, Arthur was not one to back down from a challenge, and he was determined to put an end to this problem once and for all. Here's what he decided to do. One day, he heard a sudden loud noise followed by a scream. In that moment, he leaned back and a slow, satisfied smile spread across his face. But before we start, make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. In the United States, approximately one-third of all packages delivered to residential homes never make it to their intended recipients. Man. This is not due to the postal service's inefficiencies or unscrupulous vendors, but rather the actions of greedy porch pirates who cannot resist the temptation of unattended packages on a hard-working individual's doorstep. Arthur Russell had grown weary of this ongoing issue and was determined to put an end to it. Fed up with his mounting losses, Arthur was determined to do something about the frustrating situation on his own. Despite making multiple calls to the police, Arthur received no assistance in resolving the issue of porch theft. Undeterred, he set to work creating the ultimate revenge box, intended to teach the next porch pirate a lesson they wouldn't soon forget. Arthur's background as a former Navy SEAL specializing in unconventional warfare had prepared him for the most dangerous of missions, yeah. with grueling training that tested his physical and mental endurance. In his free time, Arthur also enjoyed constructing booby traps, a hobby that would prove invaluable when dealing with the porch pirates who had targeted him. At first, Arthur attempted to construct a complex trap, but he eventually realized that a simpler approach would be more effective. He settled on a trap that featured a snare, which he modified to function like a finger trap. However, oh. Arthur was not satisfied with the initial design and wanted to create something more effective. Eventually, it occurred to him that he could rig the trap in such a way that nobody would be hurt. He set out to create a plan that would frighten the porch pirate while ensuring their safety. Arthur spent the remainder of the day carefully constructing his device and altering a box to appear as an official goods package. Once he had finished, he stepped back and surveyed his handiwork with a sense of satisfaction. Moving the box to his backyard, he decided to test it out and could not contain his excitement as it performed exactly as he had engineered it to do. Arthur conducted another test, this time covering his ears as the explosive component went off. Despite the loud noise, he was pleased to see that it was reliable and consistent. As Arthur monitored the live footage from the doorbell camera on his phone, he observed an unsuspecting woman brazenly approaching his front porch. Despite her intentions, she appeared completely at ease. Arthur's eyes are fixed on the woman's every move. He watches as she walks up to the door and reaches out to ring the doorbell, but suddenly stops in her tracks wow, as the motion the sensor light flashes on. Probably Arthur can see the it. fear in her eyes and he can almost hear her thoughts as she weighs the risk of proceeding with her theft. Just then, Arthur's attention is drawn to a vehicle parked in the background. A man is sitting behind the wheel, urging the woman to turn around and complete her mission. After a moment of hesitation, the woman returns to the porch, snatches the package and triggers Arthur's trap. There's a deafening explosion and the woman screams and bolts back to the car, leaving her phone behind. Oh, Arthur can't help but feel a sense of satisfaction as he sits back and smirks, wondering what the thief must be thinking now. 
Arthur's device is a clever and effective deterrent against package thieves, but he can't help but wonder if it's legal. He doesn't want to get into trouble with the law, even if he believes his actions are justified. Come on, man. He decides to do some research to make sure he's not breaking any laws by using his... I mean, look. You know how people have signs on their gate that say, like, beware of dog. And then people still, like, come in people's yard and they might get bit. Like, you, if, if I'm the law... I'm 1000% justifying this because you like you're doing something you're not supposed to do. Right. And if they take this package, I mean, you don't know what is being sent to the house, you know. And a lot of times, like with old people, they may not be able to get out. So they got it. I'm just saying. You don't want nothing to happen, then stay away from people's property. Like, it's that simple. Device. According to state law, it is illegal to construct explosive devices without a proper license, which raises concerns about the legality of Arthur's boombox. Amen. The police have expressed their disapproval of his creation. Despite the legal and police challenges surrounding his invention, Arthur remained undeterred in his pursuit of catching thieves. Arthur was resolute in his belief that the device was safe and effective, and he refused to let the legal repercussions or naysayers stand in the way of his goal. Arthur deployed his trap once more, with the hope of teaching another thief a valuable lesson. In just a few days, his plan was successful once again. The thief approached the porch, intending to grab the package, but as soon as he did, there was a loud explosion. The entire sequence played out exactly as Arthur had anticipated. I know it's crude, but there's nothing scarier than a 12-gauge, Arthur stated. Despite the police's disapproval of his boombox, Arthur's complaints were starting to be taken more seriously, and his invention successfully caught 20 would-be thieves. Although Arthur was not married and didn't live with a partner, he was not living on his own. His roommate was none other than his eight-year-old tomcat named Boots. Boots. Arthur realized that when Boots was napping on the porch, the porch pirates would avoid it altogether. They didn't want to risk waking the cat and getting attacked or scratched. So Arthur started strategically placing Boots on the porch whenever he was expecting a delivery. It worked like a charm, and Arthur enjoyed the added bonus of spending more time with his furry companion. While he was still experimenting, Arthur decided that he would play a trick on the thieves. He took an empty Amazon box that he had at home and filled it with Boots used kitty litter. <laughs> that way, the thieves would find a nasty surprise inside the box that they stole. Did it work? As Arthur observed from the window, a man approached his porch and quickly snatched his Amazon package, eliciting a chuckle from Arthur. However, a complication arose when his neighbor stumbled upon the discarded open box with Arthur's address a few blocks away. The thief had opened the box and discarded it on the side of the road, but that wasn't the end of it. Arthur's neighbor stumbled upon the discarded box and found the note inside addressed to the thief which read, Hi, you're on camera. F you thief. Hope you like cat crap. Oh. Being a victim of porch pirates himself, the neighbor quickly realized what Arthur was up to. While he shared Arthur's disdain for package thieves, he couldn't stand the sight of litter on the street. Arthur's numerous prank experiments had sparked a debate online. While he was fed up with the packages he bought with his hard-earned money being stolen, some people questioned whether it was right to deter the thieves in this way. Although Arthur's pranks were not scary enough until he used blanks, the use of explosive devices to catch thieves was still a controversial issue. Some individuals who have fallen victim to porch piracy believe that the term porch pirate is too mild to describe these habitual thieves. For many, they represent the darkest side of our society. Yeah. Mostly, people online express their shared disdain for porch pirates and their disappointment in how law enforcement authorities were not doing enough to address the issue. This left many people, such as Arthur and Christine, feeling like they had no other option but to take matters into their own hands and serve justice themselves. What course of action would you take? If you were a victim of porch piracy and found that your complaints to the police were ineffective, would you consider taking matters into your own hands, even if it risked injuring a thief? Or would you seek an alternative solution? Ultimately, the best course of action would be one that is safe 
and does not result in any legal consequences for you. Stealing packages from other people's porches is not okay because it is a violation of their property rights and personal space. Exactly. It is a form of theft and can cause financial and emotional harm to the victim, especially if the package contains important or valuable That's items. That's what I'm saying. It also creates a sense of insecurity and fear for the victim, as they may feel unsafe in their own home and neighborhood. Porch piracy is not only illegal, but also immoral, and it is important to respect the property and privacy of others. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, who's to say next you're not going to be trying to come in the house, you know? Um, I feel like we have some pretty good neighbors in our neighborhood, right? Um, but it's like, sometimes you just, you never know. Somebody could see packages getting delivered to your house all the time and they could be they could tell somebody else to come by and be like, yo, this house always getting packages, man. You should come over here and here. You just never know. But like my whole thing is like the way they're attacking these Amazon trucks now, like you you can't even get the package to your house no more. It's crazy, man. Um it again, people are just evil. People are just evil. And you it is hard to like try to understand what be going through people's minds. I don't think you can. I don't think you ever will. It's just it is what it is, man. People are just evil people, man. You just it's crazy, man crazy all right shout out to the did you know channel um comment below if you guys have ever had something taken and what actions did you take because i mean the dude said like <laughs> i was reading one of the comments it said not only are the police not going to do anything but they're not even letting you help yourself crazy all right peace out